What's up guys, this is Trevor with Embers. I'm in the new Dimplex trailer. This has been a three year wait and it's finally, finally here. Check this out. I have the Ignite Bold behind me. This is an 88 inch model. It's time to finally, once and for all, review this bad boy. Let's go. All right, so I'm kind of learning as we go here. I have never had my hands on a model besides a prototype model. So we're gonna to learn together. So this is an 88 inch model. Now it does come in a bunch of sizes. So we have a 50 inch, a 60 inch, I think a 74 inch, an 88 inch and a 100 inch. This one is the 88 inch and it all comes, everything you see comes in the box. So you can do it left, right corner, double corner, flat facing. And here's what's awesome. They told us that you can combine these things. Chris will show you a video of, or a photo of it. You can combine these things so you can have up to 500 inches of electric fireplace. If you need 500 inches, a 500 inch electric fireplace, you need to take it easy a little bit. Like that's a lot of electric fireplace, but you can do it. So what does the bold have that's so cool? Well, you can see it's much cleaner lines than the regular Ignite. Uh, we have two different flame colors. We have an orange and a blue. Now what's really cool is as we get into the flame, I'll show you this, but there's two different flame patterns. Um, personally, I think this is mounted too high, obviously. This is at face level in a trailer. So I think it'll look better when we can get it down on the ground at a more appropriate level. But um, we'll just kind of show you. So what upgrades do you get with this guy? Well, everything we mentioned, we have the taller glass, 21 inch glass. We also have, um, Wi-Fi. So Dimplex is rolling out like a new Wi-Fi technology that's going in all of their electric fireplaces so you can control everything on your app. This also has full diagnostics. So it has USB diagnostics where it can be diagnosed like through your Wi-Fi to figure out if you have a problem or something like that. It does have the same heater as the Ignite XL. So it has the EcoBoost technology. I think is the best heater on the market. So of course that guy is in here. You get the logs and the media standard in both choices and you can see this tint this window kind of has a tint to it and this sort of darker tint helps with reflection which is pretty cool and then you can see especially because it's mounted so high you can see it does have a top night light which is pretty cool we also have physical touch controls here so let's just kind of go through the physical touch controls. so there i just brightened it so you can see our flame all of a sudden looks a lot better i probably should have started with that there's just the orange there's the orange and blue, and there's just the blue. And there's just the orange. There's just the orange again. We're kind of playing with a bunch of different flame patterns. And there's number seven. There's number one. I kind of like that one the best, don't you, Chris? That looks good. Yeah, different flame patterns. And then we can play with the brightness here. So there it is a little bit brighter. Yeah, that definitely looks better. That looks a lot better. I should, should have started with that. So hopefully you didn't bounce after a couple of minutes of the video because now it looks a lot better. Uh, let's see this here. All right, now here's what's cool. Check this out. So we have different speeds. So there's a level four speed, level five speed. Pew, 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 pew. It's like a Star Wars movie. What do you think, Chris? A little intense? Too fast. Too fast. All right, there's level one. That's a little slow. That's like, or status. All right, there's level two. All right, I want to put it on slow because it's important you see the flame sort of trailing up. And one of the best things about the Ignite XL technology, which is of course in this, is sort of the contrast between the dark blacks in the top and then the brightness of the flame itself. I think that contrast ratio is really important so you don't wash out the whole back of the firebox. That's no good. And then let's go to a uh, Let's speed it up a little bit. So there's a level three, which I think is still a touch slow, don't you, Chris? Yeah. And then let's go to a level four. I think I'm a level four type of guy. That's just the type of guy I am. I'm level four. Level five's too much, level three's too little, level four is just perfect. All right, let's play with these uh, ember beds a little bit. So there's bright, a lot of buttons here. All right, let's try this one. What am I doing? I don't know. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, there's pink. And you can see the top night light changes with the bottom. So they sort of coincide with each other. There's red. 
I don't know if I'm in love with red. Green, I could take or leave. Six, I think, is rotation. Let's see if I'm right. It's gonna rotate on me. Nope. It oh, is. it is. It's just a little slow. So I'll be son of a gun. I can't believe it. All right, there we are, yellow. All right, let's go to what I think is gonna be my favorite. Oh my gosh, there's a seventh. I think seven is a faster rotation. That's what I'm thinking. If it's faster, it's not a lot faster. Eight, yeah, this is my favorite. This is, this is what I'm talking about. This is a midnight mode. What do you think of midnight mode, Chris? You don't, I don't think you like it that much, huh? I like all the colors. You like it? I like midnight mode. Man, that looks awesome. But you can see we, we definitely are getting a better flame, and that's what's cool. That's the most important is our flame technology. There's one. See, the problem with one, I think on a bright level, it's washing it out too much, personally. But some people like that. I personally like midnight mode. Actually, I kind of like that one. That one's pretty good. It's more subtle than the bright white. Yeah, so like I mentioned, there's several install options. So you don't have to have the open end. So if you're like, ah, oh, I don't like it multi-sided, it doesn't matter. So you get everything in the box, like I said, and you can just convert it to how you like it. I'm very, very excited about this. I love what I'm seeing. I think it's a big improvement over the Ignite XL. We'll be doing a reverses video if you're tr trying to decide what model. I'm gonna break down the differences between the two. Also, I'm gonna do a versus the Ignite XL versus this new, this new little fella right here, this little gem. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about that. We're also gonna do a separate review on this guy. So uh, thanks for checking out the new Ignite XL Bolt. If you've been dying to watch this, give us a thumbs up. Come to our showroom in the Denver, Colorado area. You can come see this in our showroom. We'll be one of the first showrooms to actually have this on the floor. Um, stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys next time.